Shikoy. I'm Joe Panola. And we are so excited to do the uh, the tournament game. Know what 
against Medfield. This is going to be a great night. The gym's packed. <laughs> it's a small gym, <laughs> Kathy. Uh, not no. too far from Norwich, so the students came, and they right. are they, they are allowed They're ready already. They're to cheer, yeah. <laughs> so uh, we're about to have the tip-off here. Um, Medfield is a number one seed in Division Two, and uh, Norwood is number nine. Norwood did lose their two regular season games to Medfield, but um, it's tough to beat a team three times. Uh, Everybody it. says that. These two teams know each other well from yeah. playing in the Tri-Valley League, right. and you, already, you can already tell with a player on the floor that this is going to be a highly contested game. So immediately, possession arrow looks like it's to Medfield right off the, or excuse me, to Norwood right off the bat. Medfield, as Kathy mentioned, 18 and two. They are out of the TVL, as is Norwood, who is 15 and five on the regular season. Norwood coached by Kristen McDonald in her, only her second year, and it feels like right. she's been a part of this program for so I long it, now. I know it, I know it. As uh, we see foul here against Medfield, that'll be charged number 11, Sadie Cumming. Yeah, uh, Kristen coached 10 years at Braintree High School and won four state championships. <laughs> Who does that? <laughs> She's an icon. She's famous uh, already. No she? slouch on the Medfield sidelines either. Mark Nickerson just earlier this year got four, uh, got his 400th career win oh, coaching wow. the Medfield yeah. program. So That's a lot of games. You've got a lot of experience on both sides right. here. Should set up for a nice game. Norwood moving it around oh, the perimeter well. A little bit too hard. That one goes off the hands of Ari Blake. A lot of responsibility on Ari Blake, who's a sophomore starting for Norwood. She's out there with number 21, Ava Murad, number 22, Alexa Chorus, number four, Lauren Reen, and number 11, Trisha Wachowski. So the three senior captains for the Mustangs. Wow. And there's a three, the first points of the night belong to Izzy Kittredge, a sophomore, a 6'1 sophomore yeah, for Medfield. Oh, she's gonna be a heck of a player, huh? She is. Especially if she can shoot it from distance I like know. that. Cause yeah. that, yeah. They'll come out on her, and then who knows what she can do inside. Norwood still trying to move it around the perimeter. Now to Wachowski. She'll try a three. No. Just a little off the mark, no, but Norwood gets an offensive good board. Good there. Nice work from Alexa Chorus, right, who got her she, hands on it. And now she finds uh, herself wide open, but Norwood another yeah. offensive rebound. They're certainly getting their opportunities here. They're working hard for it. Nice pass. Wachowski oh. with a beautiful pass inside. Too bad. It's been some good looks, Kathy, for Nora yeah. early on, but they haven't quite connected. Well, what happens in a game like this, you start off, you're very excited, so it's easy to miss a little layup like that. And you're almost going, oh, my God, I'm open. <laughs> you know, just, oh. uh, we see a foul on the way to the hoop and a fist pump from Annie Stanton, one of Medfield's captains. Medfield's got an interesting lineup. Two senior captains starting. The rest of their starting crew are underclassmen. Yeah, Ten, and, uh, Tess Backey, number 12, is a sophomore. The aforementioned number 33, Izzy Kittredge, is a sophomore. And the TVL MVP as a freshman, Naya Inagari, uh, Inagari, excuse me. Yeah, she's the MVP <laughs> of the league as a freshman. Yeah, That's that is, something. That is quite respons uh, responsibility on her shoulders being a starter in a playoff game here. Coach McDonald said she, she doesn't get a ton of points, but she does every, you know, she's, she's the point guard, so she's got a, a really good basketball IQ. For sure, and for someone that young, it's yeah. impressive. Here's Wachowski, a deep two that doesn't go, and Norwood again, they've been active on the offensive yeah. glass here. They're going after it. I was talking to Coach Steve Burrow a little bit before the game. He was saying, this is a familiar opponent. We're going to throw everything we got at them. Right. And he seemed pretty optimistic. You know, Medfield's a number one seed, right. but he you seemed to think really that they've got a be. shot. What's going on here? Referees will talk this one out for a bit. Looks like Norwood is getting ready to inbound it with Lauren Reen right now. All the starters still on the floor for both teams, but it looks like Kathy Medfield's trying to get a substitution in, and they do. So I they'll check in. Happened. Number 21, Jalen uh, Adagari, as she will replace Sadie Cummings, number 11. So the Mustangs still working the ball around the outside. That's where they found success early on, getting their looks. Ava Murad, who had a hot start in Norwood's one home game th th oh. these playoffs. Gets it for Reen and now for Chorus. Really working the perimeter. Look at the passing from this Mustangs team. Blake saw a lane oh, inside hit, for a second. Too bad, that hit the bottom of the, of the backboard. Strange ricochet, but it's handled by Kittredge. And now it's Annie Stanton. A little bit of a lob pass there for Tess Backey, who sees a lane inside. 
taking on a couple of players, can't get it to go, but some ah. cleanup work for Izzy yeah. Kittredge, who has five. Nice, nice work from Izzy to clean up that one after Backy found a great lane. Oh, oh almost. They're going for it. Yep, that was Jalen Anagari who almost found some room there on the steal. It looks like the strategy here is to move that ball around the perimeter, keep it moving, keep that de it's a zone defense. Looks like a 2-3. Medfield really plays some good defense. Nice. They're a well-rounded, oh, deep team. This one is a little bit off the mark for Murad, and now Stanton coming back the other way. Quick 8-0 lead for Medfield, and we're going to see a foul against Norwood. It'll be charged to Ava Murad, number 21. Trisha Latkowski um, was the, the high scorer for Norwood during the season. She's, uh, she's had a great career at Norwood. I remember watching her in her freshman and sophomore years and saying she's going to be the star for <laughs> And not just a one-trick pony. She plays uh, soccer as well, does a great job playing goalie on that team, wow. and I think has okay. been the starter there for four years. Wow, yeah, I can imagine. She's, <laughs> she's tall, so uh, being in the goal in soccer, that helps. For sure. So and, and so athletic. <laughs> and a good student too. I had the pleasure of teaching Trisha last year in class and she oh, did a great job in a I'm not challenging college level physics class. So Yeah, I'm not surprised to hear that. That's what that's what we need here, the student athletes. And, right. and she embodies both parts. So we have an eight nothing score. No one's had a few chances and they certainly are hustling. They're not standing still. They've they've had several offensive boards. They just couldn't put it in the in the room there. Uh, right. Once they take the lid off, though, because they, they're making their uh, sort of easy shots, they're, they're getting them off, but right. it's not going down. Well, it's been loud student sections on both sides. We've got quite the vantage point here. Yeah. Shout out to Brian Boudreaux, who got here early to scout it out for us. <laughs> to get a good spot. We are flanked by both sets of fans, so it's interesting. We had some Medfield fans to the right of us taking pictures of that 8 nothing scoreboard right now. They like the, uh, <laughs> they like the lead their team is out to. But Norwood and their students haven't quieted down much as they get another chant going here. So here is Kittredge, the 6-1 sophomore, over for Anna Gary, and now Annie Stanton. Stanton trying to move inside. Oh. Murad was pressuring her there. All right. Nice work from Ava defensively, who could be That's a real bit. pest there. Medfield gets the arrow, but, um, you know, that's still the... The 30-second clock doesn't reset on that. It's a good hustle on defense. Norwood not giving up Ooh. and showing that pressure there early on. And now it the works hustle again. Move. Ava Murad has been active defensively, and that time Lauren Reen was there to help her out and collect the basketball. So now Reen will set up Norwood's offense. Murad inside, kicks it over for number 14. Oh, nice. oh. And they'll call travel against uh, Liliana she Cordani. Took, she shuffled her feet just before she... Great move there. Just she needs to keep her pivot foot down when she does it. It's the third tournament game for number 14, Liliana Cordani, who's a freshman for Norwood. So, freshman in the game on both sides. You talk about being thrown into the fire in the I Elite know Eight, it. and a lot that's of pressure. the case. So, Naya Anagari, number 34 for Medfield, is a freshman, as is number 14, Cordani for Norwood. Here's Kittredge from oh, deep. Wow. She's deadly. Eight points for Izzy Kittredge, who's the game's leading scorer, and it's 11-0 midfield. What a start for the Warriors, but Norwood finds Wachowski inside. All right. And Norwood is on the board, yeah. much to the delight of the student section. You gotta get that section. lid off. <laughs> and look at that. This is good momentum for Norwood here. Absolutely, the student section far forcing a yeah. turnover for midfield. And Norwood now perhaps building some momentum after the bucket from Wachowski. They can quickly get back in this. We have a score here. It's a Norwood team that's led by a trio of seniors with Wachowski, Reen, and Alexa Chorus. Yep. Those three. Reen is the last of a long line of <laughs> unbelievable female athletes. For sure. Now, did you coach the any of them, family. Kathy? No. Okay. No. There is a three attempt that's off the mark. Wachowski wanted it, and she did like a crumpy fist Another there. Another offensive board. <laughs> they really are out hustling Medfield on that end. Nice pass nice. from Reen easy, inside. Easy. <laughs> Wachowski a little bit fired up after Rushed missing the last shot. Bit, yeah. Here's Backy, drives inside, no call, but she gets it to go. And Tess Backy, a sophomore for Medfield, is on the board. They lead by 11 again, 13-2. Opportunistic steal yeah, for them. Yeah, take care of the ball. And Aguirre up and in. And the freshman, Naya Anagari, who is one to watch, the TVL MVP, is but on the board we as well. Zone full court press here. 
Rodani gets it for Reen, and Norwood, some quick movement. Again stolen, it's Stanton who's been intercepting a lot of these passes. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Love it. Murad oh. the other way, and that pass up to Wachowski is not going to count here. That's a good foul on Medfield's <laughs> part. The I ball agree. comes way back here. We were having a fast break. In field hockey, you'd hold your whistle. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you wait to see who gets the advantage. You don't do that in basketball. <laughs> And now you coach both of them, so I you've, did, got, yeah. you've got that and unique perspective. I officiated both of them, too. So. Yeah, that's almost even more challenging <laughs> sometimes, I would imagine. Yeah. So a substitution for midfield as Mary Palladino, number five, enters the game. She'll replace number one, Annie Stanton. So midfield with their two senior captains out of the game right now, potentially an opportunity for Norwood with about two and a half minutes left to take advantage of a young lineup for Coach Mark Nickerson. Here's Bella Chorus, a sophomore is in there for the Mustangs, trying to go off the backboard. Hustling for the rebound is Alexa Chorus, and she threw it right into the belly of Paladino. And it's going to be Norwood's ball. Yep. The arrow's Norwood, in Norwood's favor here. I'll tell you, Norwood is hustling. You're right about that, Oh, Kathy. wow. Yeah. And that is keeping Norwood at least right. in striking distance. So they're although. doing everything they can. I mean, it's just not putting it in. So here's Wachowski. Off. Norwood hoping to get some shots going. Gordani over for Blake, and now for Chorus. Wachowski in the corner. Long pass as she connects with Chorus. I see two Choruses out there right now. Bella, number 12, will take this shot. Nice she air balls it, but yeah. look at the cleanup. Nice hustle. Liliana Cordani, she number really 14. She really anticipated that. <laughs> that ball was shot over the, yep. Now driving inside, it I is. I love that. <laughs> that was, that defense had to hustle, but you saw some help here, and that stopped her from having a layup because the, the people on the weak side here got right over and, and got good position, so she didn't get a layup. Like, it looked like she was going to have. So Medfield's been hitting his shots, but uh, the Norwood defense is not making it easy for him. All right. And we'll see a foul here, much to the dismay of the student section. It looks like it'll go on Cordani. So, so. interesting story, number five, Palladino is uh, there's a Norwood connection there, the Ma family. Suzanne Ma played field hockey for me and was a great basketball player. Her niece is Palladino playing for Medfield. And both her, her mom and uh, her two aunts went to Norwood High and played sports. So. Chorus over for Wachowski will try another ah. three. That'll get the students Beautiful. going. There we go. <laughs> Trisha Wachowski with five tonight is Norwood's leading scorer uh -huh. at the moment. But look at that. There's Jeez. the Norwood connection. Got to get back. Mary Palladino gets it to go, and Medfield is back you up to a double-digit lead. Court press, and it's kind of rattling Norwood a little bit here. Oof. Medfield again, and it's Jalen Anagiri. Kicks it over for Palladino, who can't find the handle. And Wachowski on the ground. Possession arrow, I think, is it to Medfield? Yes. Yes, it will be. So Norwood will go with a substitution as CeCe Becker and those pink shoes will check in. She replaces Ari Blake. So Norwood with a lineup now of Becker, Cordani, Wachowski, Murad, and Alexa Chorus. Chorus very aggressive trying to defend the inbound pass from Kittredge. Palladino over for Anna Gary who's guarded by the freshman Cordani. Now Kittredge to the far side for Jalen Anna Gary who Boy, finds Naya. The defense work. A little bit of a teardrop shot from three there. Good hustle. Wachowski Again, good grabs hand. the rebound. Yeah. Long pass up. Here's Becker. Oh, oh easy. Smart pass as Norwood yeah. controls. Now Chorus for three. Yeah, I think I think uh, 33 got her hand on that ball, on that shot. Deflected it's, it a little bit. Yeah, certainly uh, you could see that from Izzy Kittredge, who's 6-1. Yeah. She's got some reach on that uh, three-point attempt from Norwood. So midfield still up 17-7. We got 38 seconds left. So just a small difference between the game clock and the shot clock here. And we'll see a foul here against Becker. And Coach McDonald did not like that call. So the foul situation's new this year. It goes by the quarters. And on the and it's on the fifth foul in the quarter. You shoot two. So there's no one and one anymore. So automatically two shots but here coming up. Then it up. resets. So you don't. Like, it's only 33 <laughs> seconds left, and they got to five. And so there's a free throw made for Naya Anagari, and she is up to three today. Medfield will go with a substitution as uh, Izzy Kittredge, who's been quite good today, checks out. And Paige Henneberry, another, another freshman for the Warriors, will check in. Second of two free throws for Anagari, and she nails both of them. 
Ice in the veins of the freshman as she's made both from the line today in this Elite Eight game. So 33.1 seconds. Uh, full court press here. Yeah, shot clock is off, but uh, Medfield is going to press it all the way. So Reen and full Alexa Corris. press, they're trying to trap it. No, it brought it up quickly, which is good. Don't bounce Reen almost in trouble. <laughs> she was court. close to a backcourt. Yeah. Thought she was going to bounce it on the line. Gordani guarded by Backy, and now Murad with a little bit of room nice. drives inside. Oh. And the shot's just not falling for the Mustangs no. right now. A little bit of a scramble on the floor, and that should be Norwich ball this time. Wachowski was right in the middle of the pile up. See and if they so can score here with eight seconds left. Yeah, Norwood's going to get Joy Robinson to check in for Cordani. Robinson, another freshman yep. for the Mustangs. I've seen her play. And she is a, a heck of player. a player. Yeah. She was swinging with JV a little bit earlier, and Joey yeah. O'Connor, who's the JV coach and works with us here at NCM sometimes, yeah. was talking about just what a great kid and great player she is. Yeah. So, Playing five basketball. seconds. Norwood yeah. turns it over. And, oh, I thought we might have gotten yeah. a foul there for a moment. Yeah. Norwood it's dangerously close to a reach. So Palladino, no, excuse me, that's Jalen and Aguirre that'll inbound it. 2.2 seconds, so Medfield will have to get a shot off quick. It's Naya from half court. Yeah. Off the mark, doesn't go. But Medfield oh. and Coach Mark Nickerson, uh, Kathy, have to be happy with that yeah. first quarter. Um, you know, Medfield's got talent and height and strength. Uh, no, it's like little buzzy bees, you know, trying <laughs> to just get that ball and just, just throw them off their game. Just hurry, hurry, hurry. But um, they haven't finished their shots. They, they gave themselves some opportunities, but they just didn't go down. So hopefully this quarter that will be different because the game could be pretty close if some of those little layups had gone in where they rolled off the rim. So we'll see if the Norwood shots start falling. Their defense has been good. Yeah, oh, Obviously absolutely. the foul situation, yeah. something to watch on both sides as Norwood committed five in the quarter. But uh, they've got their work cut out yeah, for them down 12. Kittredge has been deadly in the corner. That <laughs> that really makes you have to go out on her, you know, and, and then opens up for other people inside. And they have so many weapons. Six-footer that can shoot as a sophomore. <laughs> yeah. Medfield has a bright future ahead of them. Yeah. And that's not even mentioning the TVL MVP in Naya right. and Aguirre. Who's a freshman. Yeah, and a sophomore who was a TVL All-Star at Tess Backey. So wow. yeah. quite a crew for Coach Nickerson. He's also got four call-ups, it looks like, from JV who are with them in tournament play. So Norwood, who is a young team as well. You look past right. the three seniors that Norwood's got. Ava Murad, a junior, a TVL honorable mention, and then they've got a slew of freshmen and sophomores. Right, so they've, they've got some young people coming back. Joy Robinson is one of those freshmen who's starting the second quarter for the Mustangs. So it's Robinson, Murad, and the trio of seniors, Chorus, Wachowski, and Reen for Norwood. For Medfield, they've got both Anna Garys in there, along with Mary Palladino. Number 24, Paige Henneberry, who stays in the game. Uh, Henberry, excuse me. And number one, Annie Stanton, who had a solid first quarter herself. So we'll see Medfield inbound it. This is Jalen Anna Gary. Jalen is a junior. I've got to assume Naya's sister. That's not a super common last name. Yeah. Here is Naya. Freshman wearing number 34, over for Stanton. Quick pass inside. Went off the fingertips of Palladino, and now a tussle on the Good floor. Hustle. How many well, possession arrows have we seen decide I possessions know. here? And Good hustle because you, you coach in the lower grades. If the ball's loose, get on the floor. That's it. Play through any kind of whistle, right. right? So now Joy Robinson will inbound it. Coach McDonald waving her team back here. She's going to let Robinson and Reed. Well, Robinson had her hands full. She was on one of those six foot players on that defense. <laughs> Held with her. There's a long pass for Wachowski, who's guarded by Stanton. Across the court to Chorus. They're trying to make this defense move. And now Reen calling out a play here. That's Motions Chorus out of the way. Zone here. And with a, a big three in the back. There's oh, a nice, nice take inside. Yes. And Alexa nice Chorus is yep. on the board. So she dribbled down with her right and then shot with her left to protect the ball from getting blocked. That was excellent. So the Anagaris work it up. Here's Stanton. Guard, guarded by a double team of Wachowski and Chorus. Wachowski tried to get a hand oh, there. That was an NBA three point. <laughs> Would have counted just the same, right? Yeah, exactly. Long Ooh, pass nice up. Pass. Oh, there's Take Wachowski. Yeah. Got some momentum going here. I love it. 
Nothing like a long pass. Norwood yeah. loves those, and Trisha Wachowski's up to seven. So 19 to 11, Medfield yes. with the lead. And one now on a three one, on yeah. two. Oh, too bad. And Wachowski is fouled on the way up. Too bad that didn't fall, that would have been huge. What a start for Trisha Wachowski, who's yeah. got seven of Norwood's 11. And she has a chance to add to that total from the free throw line. So 6.33 to go here in the second quarter, 19 to 11 Medfield. Wachowski doesn't get the first to go, but she'll have a second opportunity in a moment. Substitutions coming in for the Warriors as Izzy, as Izzy Kittredge checks back in, as does Tess Backey. Both of them were starters for Coach Nickerson and have re-entered here Let's early in the Trisha second. Can get this one in. Nice. You called it, Kathy. Eight points for Wachowski. I see a spark there. <laughs> and so does Coach Mark yeah, Nickerson no. for Medfield. He'll take a timeout here. And as a coach, I'm imagining this is probably a, a good move for the Medfield bunch. Yes. That, yeah. You call timeout, break the momentum, because you could just feel it. They're coming back. The Norwood team, you watch their bench. They're standing up. Yeah. They've got some energy. I love that. I love that. They've Everybody on the bench is in the game. <laughs> Norwood's got a great coaching staff. Obviously, we talk about Coach McDonald and the yeah. impact that she's had. Steve Burrell, who followed her from the guys' side, is a teacher at Norwood High as oh, well. Okay. Yeah. Does a nice job. And Joey O'Connor, who teaches in our um, our English language learner program, is out nice. there as well. And Jim McDonald. So uh, yeah. we've got quite a crew on we the sideline. And if anyone can solve the full court press, uh, it's <laughs> Coach McDonald. She, she just knows this game inside and out. That was kind of what I was thinking coming yeah. into this because you saw Medfield beat Norwood twice pretty yeah. handily, so and they're a number one seed in a so small, she knows loud them. gym. That's the thing. And right. But she knows them. How, how they can be beaten. So she stays up late every night. <laughs> since I, I she said she to Coach Burrell almost with a wink, I said, yeah. I'm sure Kristen's got something up her sleeve, yeah. right? He said, we got, we got a lot planned. <laughs> Here is Stanton. I think her foot was on the line, and it might have been a two. But that is going to delight the Norwood yeah, the, crowd. I think it hit the upright there. Yeah. That's out of bounds. Just grazing the top of the hoop, but Norwood will take it. So down seven, this game is as close as it's been. Medfield still with a decent lead, but the momentum is definitely on the Mustang side. Lauren Reen now, the general out there on the court, kicks it over for Chorus. Pick is set by Robinson as Alexa yeah. drives inside, but she's blocked cleanly yeah, by that, Kittredge. That back three, they're all like six feet tall. It's kind of tough. And she's got some foul. great moves, though, Alexa does. So Alexa will pick up the foul. That is her first foul and the first team foul of the quarter, as Kathy we'll mentioned with Alexa those new a little, rules. A little break, yeah. Well, you're just going to sub in another chorus as uh, Bella checks in number 12. So Medfield still up seven here with just under six minutes to go in the second quarter. Naya Anagiri kicks it over for number 24, that's Henneberry. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, she took an extra step All right. there. This is just what we need. We need a stop and a score. <laughs> Perhaps a little bit of nerves there for yeah. Paige Henneberry, who is a freshman on this Medfield team, as they've got such a young lineup right now, right now out there. Two freshmen and two sophomores for the Warriors. Robinson in the corner, kicks it over for Murad. She'll try a two, yeah. a three, knocks it down. Within four now. Big shot from Ava Getting Murad. Getting a little rattled. <laughs> Let's see how long Coach Nickerson sticks with this young lineup. Reen almost got her hands in it. Chorus decided not yeah, to touch it. Ball. And it's going Norwood way. They, sent, they said it went off of, I think that was number 24, Hennebree. So an only a four-point midfield lead with 5.21 to go. 19 for the Warriors, 15 oh, for the Mustangs. You gotta, you gotta oh. protect the ball. You, gotta, you can't afford these turnovers. What a nose Annie Stanton has for it as she steps in the way of another pass. Robinson for Norwood guarding Anna Gary. Yeah. The TVL MVP wearing number 34. I love now doubled. Kicks it, it over for Stanton. Nice pass inside. They kick it out for Backey. Almost lost the handle. Here's Stanton. Drives inside, and she'll head to the line. I love the way the Norwood defenders move their feet. They just know exactly what they need to do. There's no laziness, no, you know, sitting back on your heels. So the foul will be charged to Bella Chorus. That is Bella's first, and I made a mistake earlier. Third foul in the quarter for Norwood. And Stanton knocks down the free throw, so she's two of two from the line tonight. 
Substitution to the Mustangs. Liliana Cordani will check back in, as will number 10, Izzy Morgan. So a couple other players getting some big tournament experience here. Yeah, Izzy's a, a sophomore. This one a bit off the mark. Norwood fights for it. And another ball decided by possession arrow here. Yeah. And okay. it'll stay with Medfield. Still good hustle. Still that. The next arrow is Norwood. Five point lead for the Warriors, 20 to 15 with 4.51 to go. We hope you're enjoying the coverage here on Video On Demand. Here's Becky off the mark there. She airballed yep. it and it's going Norwood's way. All right, let's see if Norwood can score. Big possession coming up yeah. for the Mustangs. They've got Cordani, Reen, Murad, Morgan, and Bella Chorus out there. So a lot of Coach McDonald's uh -oh. second unit and this one just yeah, goes off the careful. hands of Backy. Ooh. She okay. almost had the swipe yeah, and yeah. taken it the other way. They're aggressive. So Reen now, and always they talking. back into their 2-3 defense. Cordani now, over for Bella Chorus. Bella oh, tries no. a pass inside. Nice job by number 11, that's Sadie Cummings who's back in the game for Medfield. Sadie, one of the Medfield captains who started today. Driving yes. on inside is number 12, Backy. And it looks like it'll be a foul against the Bella Mustangs Cole. and Bella. So a dangerous fourth foul of the quarter with over half the quarter remaining for the yeah. Mustangs. So they shoot two. And also the second personal foul against Bella Chorus. So the foul situation a little more precarious for the Mustangs <laughs> than it was a moment ago. <laughs> Kristen's in the official's ear like, look at that, <laughs> four, one, what's up with that? <laughs> I can just hear her. Of course she is, right? <laughs> And I was a referee, I know what they say. <laughs> now, have you refereed games that she's coached? <laughs> uh, no. Okay. No. I was going to say, because then you've really got the inside scoop. Yeah. Looks like Norwood will get Trisha Wachowski back in the game as she replaces Liliana Cordani. Medfield with a six-point lead at the moment. And at the line, just missing the second free throw was Tess Backey. So Backey with three tonight. 4.17 to ball. go. Good pass this year. Here's Alexa Chorus, oh. who's back in there as well. Oh, I thought that, that might have been a double dribble her. for a moment. Lauren Reen now. Motions to set up the offense. She's guarded by Naya Anagari. Come to her. Wachowski does. Guarded by Backy. Over for Alexa. Alexa trying to find some room against Cummings. Kicks it for Wachowski. Wachowski good, with good the shot clock winding Netfield. down. Five. Reen's going to have to get one up. Here's Murad inside. Oh, hit the rim. So off the off. mark. I think it went off Medfield. Ah. It did. And the Medfield fans don't like it, but yeah. Kathy, I think it's the right call I, from here. Yeah, and the coach shook his head. Yes, it's correct. Yep. <laughs> the coach saw it. So coach Nickerson, some yep. good sportsmanship yeah. there. Yep. Reen will inbound it. So we'll Norwood has shot. to take a shot oh. here. Off the mark. Comes right to Chorus, but they the whistle have came to, first. They didn't have to take that shot because the ball had hit right. the rim, so the 35 second clock was. There we go. And yeah, the Norwood fans but don't like it. Why not take it? You're open right at the elbow. <laughs> hey, if you got an open look, doesn't matter yeah, how much time's right. in the clock, exactly, right? Exactly, yeah. So it looks like Medfield immediately going to the line here because they're in the bonus. That is the second foul uh, against Lauren Reen in this game. Yeah. And it is the fifth be, against the Mustangs. It's going to be two shots, and Kristen's in the official field. Oh, yeah. It's going to be two shots now. If I'm doing some lip reading, she's almost saying, come on, just a yeah. moment ago. So Annie Stanton has hit three of her four free throws tonight and is off the mark on her fifth. So Medfield with a seven point lead once again. Pushing it. Pushing the pace to Ava Murad. Oh. Can't quite get the spin no. she wants and the rebound to Kittredge. finish. This team is too good at, at scoring so we, we have to return those baskets. Here is Backy. And it looks like we'll see a foul or a violation here against Medfield. Yeah, it must have, been a, must have been an illegal pick or something. Yeah, the foul goes against Naya and Aguirre, who was off ball off, on that Off one. the ball, yeah, it, must have been a, it had to be an illegal pick. Norwood will take it as it gives them possession yeah. here with 3.20 to go. Joy Robinson's back in the game. Into the corner for Porras. She thought about the three. To protect the ball here. <laughs> now she'll get it back. Dishes it for Robinson. Nice pass inside for Murad. She's trying to go for it is uh, Ari Blake as oh, she falls to the out, ground. Yeah. Somehow it was salvaged be a tie up, but it. Wasn't. 14 seconds left on the shot clock. Here's Chorus over for Blake. Chorus again. 
Inside for Murad. Oh, nice move. Nifty move. Nice move. That Ava Murad. Great. That was fantastic. She's got five, showing why she was She's a TVL a honorable mention. Oh, I can see why. That was a quick cross dribble. And yeah, look at that. What we need. Another turnover for Medfield, and Annie Stanton did not like that one as she hustles back the other way. Wow. So a chance for the even, Mustangs. Because he made that call down <laughs> the other way. Now, is there such a thing as a makeup call? Uh, I never made it. <laughs> there we go. You, you always made the right call the oh, first time. Always, right? always. <laughs> so Reen will direct the offense here with 2.38 to go. Norwood oh, is within on, five, but Stanton again finding herself with the ball and another turnover. So Anna Gary now, a long pass into turnover. the middle yeah. and a foul against the Mustangs. It'll be another foul on Alexa Chorus, and that'll send Menfield right back to the line to shoot two. Alexa's one of the senior captains, and she's very impressive. You know, this is why the Mustangs got this far in the tournament. I mean, this is a round of eight here. <laughs> There's a free throw made by number 33, Izzy Kittredge. So Norwood in a bit of trouble here with the foul situation. They've already got five fouls this quarter. That's why Kittredge is at the line. Oh, uh, beautiful. That's she has a great shot. Double she's, digits for Izzy impressive. Kittredge tonight. She is the game's first double digit scorer with 2.22 to go here in the first half. Some nifty dribbling there from yeah. Chorus. Here's Wachowski, drives inside. Tries to kick it, but before yeah. she does that, we hear it's a whistle. It's going to be possession because she wasn't shooting. So let's see here. Coach McDonald once again talking things over. She's got the refs here the whole time. So Murad will inbound it, and it looks like the foul will go against Tess Backey. That's her first, third of the quarter for Medfield. But obviously the foul's reset after the quarter, so only about two minutes or so more of that. Here's Murad inside, oh, finds nice. a lane. Oh, get in there, <laughs> yes. I love that. She's, she's impressive, boy. The basket hasn't been super nice to Murad oh, today. Yes. And look at that, Alexa Chorus showing off her well, athleticism, down, getting in the yes, way. Slow down a little bit. So here's Catch Wachowski, 152 to go. Blake for Robinson. Joy Robinson drives inside, and Through looks the like foul. they're staying a foul on the floor. Robinson with a strong move inside there. Norwood will get a substitution here as the fourth foul is charged to Medfield. Ava it's Morad is now out, but boy, was she impressive. <laughs> she finds a little seam. Oh, yeah. And she gets this crossover dribble from her right to her left and, and finds the seam to the basket. She nice does. roll off her fingers. She's Wachowski for three doesn't uh, go, but hustle. a good rebound. Chorus pulls down the offensive oh, board. still hustling for those offensive boards. So Chorus now guarded by Cummings. Over for Robinson. A minute and a half to go in the second quarter. Norwood trails by only five. They were down as much as 13 in this game. Here's Robinson in the corner. Tried to get a pass over for Wachowski. Luckily it goes to Chorus. Chorus with a little hop wow. step. He's and tries to two. move inside. She'll get, a, she'll get a chance of two here. Yeah. Bring it within three. Just like that, Medfield picked up three fouls in the last minute and a half, and that's putting Norwood in a good foul situation as they'll head to the line to shoot two now every time Medfield commits a foul. So the foul is officially charged to Annie Stanton as the referees explain it to Coach Nickerson. Yeah. So Coach Nickerson thinks his player was straight up, and I agree with the ref. You have to give them vertical space. You can't have your hands even. She, her, her wrists were bent, you know, that... That's taking up the vertical space. So is that what you look for? You're looking at the hands on a play like well, that? Well, not really. Usually it's body and the whole arm, but in that case it was. First free throw is good. And you saw a bit of a big sigh from yeah. uh, Alexa Chorus That's there. Is well, she know the pressure here is. Yeah. These, these are young kids, you know, and with the big crowd watching. Even as a senior, they're still young kids. Right. Chorus, his second free throw, doesn't quite go. Good hustle, get that ball. Wachowski oh, gets it, tried to throw it into Cordani. She was trying Cordani. to save it, it was going out. Yeah. You know. Credit to Trisha for getting her bit. hands on it, it though. It so Here's Kittredge, kicking Gonna it over for Backy. Backy with oh a three. Oh my God, she is deadly. <laughs> Six points tonight for Tess Backy, who's been impressive as a sophomore, and we're under a minute to go here in the first half. Robinson somehow yeah. kept the handle. Yeah. 
And she'll draw a foul against Backy, it looks like. That was a tough pass to handle there. Oh, the fact that she was able to keep that dribble alive, right. Kathy. Wow. It looks like Kristen has them doing a bounce pass to get under these all these arms. And uh, sometimes they're tough to handle because they skip and, instead of bouncing. So a lot of poise there from the freshman Joy Robinson who was in this trouble just great. a moment ago. We need to be able to shoot with the clock stopped <laughs> <laughs> when you're behind. Joy is off yeah, the mark there. And here a come a couple of substitutions. So uh, it looks like Alexa Chorus will check out. Ari Blake will enter for the Mustangs. We also saw Mary Palladino enter for Medfield as she replaces Tess Backey. Second and yeah, two free throws go. is good. And some more Within tournament six. points in the young career of Joy Robinson. All right. So 55.2 seconds to go. About a 20 oh, yes. seconds difference to the game of oh, shot clock. Good try. Yep, Bella Corris got her hands on that. And Just I guess that's time off the clock, right? Or the shot clock for Medfield. All that effort inspires your team. It, uh, it unsettles the other team. It's, it's a lot to that. Anna Geary over for Kittredge. Those two have Double been quite impressive. Here. No one was really pressing the issue. A couple of traps set there. There's a pass inside, and the Mustangs Grab almost it. got their hands on. Now they do with Cordani, oh, who's wrestled to the floor. Two shots. Two coming for Liliana Cordani, and Medfield has committed about five fouls in the last two minutes. Affording a Norwood, like Kathy said, yeah. a chance to get some points on the board with, this, with the clock stopped. Yeah, if you're behind, that's what you want. <laughs> <laughs> now Coach Nickerson's in the official view. <laughs> it hey, wasn't going to take too long for that. Yeah, you can't have rabbit ears, and you can't be uh, thin-skinned <laughs> either as an official. I tell you, I give these officials credit. These oh, are absolutely. loud gyms they're going into, and no one's really your friend, right? Absolutely. You got that right. Here's the second of two for Cordani, in, in and, and out. out. Both of them. So the shot clock is off now with 30 seconds left in the half. Here's Anna Gary driving inside with a head of steam. Nice. It'll job. stay here with Medfield. Good defense though. See, she was totally straight up in the air. So Kittredge will inbound it. Medfield has their two captains, Stanton and Cummings, along with Palladino, Anna Gary, and Kittredge out there. Here's Stanton guarded by Robinson. Over for Palladino, the six-footer for Medfield. Here's Cummings now. Makes a pass inside. Norwood gets their hands 14 on 14 seconds on the clock. Let's see what Blake I, wants I to do. Knows oh, that. Almost took an extra step. Medfield That's wanted the travel. Uh, and instead, Wachowski goes up. Forward with a chance to get right back to the yeah. line. And this time, it'll Love be Christian it. Wachowski taking the shots. Love it. So Medfield. He's a senior. It's so... Uh, <laughs> Let's see if all that experience helps. For sure, you know Trish has yeah. been in situations like this you before. Know, growing up, these kids play on these travel teams with a crowd. You know, they, they've been in these situations, though, I don't know how many times. She knocks down the free throw. Trisha actually played in the state championship game a couple of years ago, oh, right. back when uh, Amy yep. Lepley was the head yeah. coach for the Mustangs. That was great. Norwood fell there, nice. but made quite the run. Wachowski yeah. knocks down both. So six seconds, can Medfield get a shot off Kittredge, oh, little stutter traveled. step off the mark. The rebound comes to Palladino, All but right. she loses the handle. Four-point game. And the half ends. Right, no, it was down <laughs> as much as, what, 14 maybe? Has Unbelievable. Yeah, way to battle back. It's been a battle. They had a great core, uh, great half right. uh, coming back towards the end now and All have right. closed this game to within four. So right. perhaps Medfield on upset watch here as the Mustangs yeah, trying and, to close and, it. You know, they went out, I think it was 11 to zero. And what happens is that Medfield team can start to sit back and say, well, this is the way we thought it was gonna go. You know, <laughs> we're, the, we're the number one team, they're eight. We beat them twice. And then all of a sudden it was like, yikes. <laughs> <You know? laughs> There's only four, four point difference here. So I uh, love it, it's great. Yeah. And now the pressure only builds for right. the number one seeded Warriors. We'll see what happens when we come back. We'll okay. take a little break we'll here. 27-23 yep. Medfield, but Norwood's got some momentum. They do. We'll return with the second half of action in just a bit here from Medfield. Hello, folks. Welcome back to Medfield High School. Joe Panola and Kathy Shakoy with you. Norwood starting off this second half down four, but it's Medfield who gets the first bucket, and it's courtesy of Sadie Cummings, number 11. 
So she is on the board today and in a hurry within the first 20 seconds of the second half. So the Mustangs, who really closed the second half with a lot of momentum, immediately giving up two points to Medfield. And we'll see an early turnover from the Mustangs as well. And you know, this Mustang comeback, it's a lot about coaching too, because this full court press was tough. And uh, it seemed that seemed to hurt Medfield. So let's see if Norwood keeps it up. You were saying that Coach McDonald seems to want to speed up the game quite it, a bit. Yes, yeah, she does. She had talking to her before the game, she thought that the Medfield team likes to play a little bit a slower pace. Right. So trying to get them off their game. Oh, nice pass. <laughs> Look oh, at that back pass. Door. Oh, what a take shot. from Tess Backey. That was like a, just <laughs> heave it up there and it goes in. Backey is up to eight points tonight and a beautiful assist there that we've got to mention from Cummings. So it is 31-23 as we see a timeout on the court. Medfield with the lead. Medfield is the number one seed. Yeah, there's a little bit of a controversy in Division II basketball and, and other sports as well because Bishop Fenwick, Bishop Fenwick um, had some issue with the MIAA and ended up all the sports were banned from MIAA tournaments um, for this whole year. So, and it wasn't the basketball team that was the problem, but um, whatever it was, was egregious, and, and this is what's happened. So, Medfield has lost. They have two losses, and guess who <laughs> beat them twice? Bishop Fenwick. So, you know, now you look back, they, they win it all. Bishop Fenwick says, oh, gee, we beat them twice. You know, <laughs> we, we could have been number one, so... Uh, it is a little bit controversial, but you know now what? Now are they the, a D2 school? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So there you go. Bishop yeah. Fenwick could have been in this game, but it, it is a yeah, uh, exactly. It is a matchup about maybe 10 miles apart between Norwood and Medfield as well. I know it. And Medfield's earned it with a deep young team. Yes, they have. For Coach Mark Nickerson. So they have a Norwood lot of weapons. <laughs> they have height. You know, they're, they really are well-rounded. These are two well-coached programs that are going to be good for a while yeah. with the young talent they have. And here is the, uh, perhaps the crown jewel of that young oh, talent. Oh, good hustle. Naya Anakari, as she is denied though. Chorus now coming right. back the Chorus other way. Chorus got real good position on that rebound. And Wachowski gets tangled up there with Stanton. And we'll see midfield possession here. So a couple of subs for Norwood as Ari Blake goes out. She's replaced by CeCe Becker. Liliana Cordani will come in, come in as well. So Becker, Cordani, Morad, Alexa Chorus, and Wachowski on the court right now. So the Mustangs without their floor general in Lauren Reen for a couple minutes. I know minutes. it's trying to full court press here. So picking up that pace defensively. Yep. Cordani guarding the fellow freshman Anagiri. Here's a shot from deep. A rare miss from Izzy Kittredge, who's been so good from there so far. She really has been the difference, if you look at the score. She's been deadly from the outside. And Kittredge already up to 10 points tonight. Here is a deep shot from three. It was a good look from Alexa Chorus. Can't get it to go, and the rebound comes to Backy. Stan, oh, oh dangerous pass. <laughs> That was almost like an NFL catch oh, on the yeah. sideline. So what happened? Trisha committed herself for that interception, yep. and this is what happens. Now you got a <laughs> free player, and they found her, unfortunately. Back to a 10-point lead for Medfield, who has been on fire to start the quarter. They are on a 6-0 uh, a uh, run right now. Bukowski couldn't come up with a steal, and it was Sadie Cummings who cleaned it up. She's got four points tonight. So Alexa Chorus. Surrounded by Cummings and Anagiri. Almost lost her footing there for a moment. Gets it to Murad. Eva Murad over for Wachowski. She'll try a three. There you go. And knocks it down. There you go. 13 tonight for Trisha Wachowski. That's how you get back in the game. She is Norwood's leading scorer. Stanton Good inside. Good knocked hustle. away and it'll stay with Medfield. So there's still 27 seconds left on the shot clock. Kittredge takes a deep breath. She looks tired out there. Yeah. But obviously she has been conditioned in an 18 win regular attack. season for Medfield. So uh, yeah, they were trying to get a substitution in. Yeah. Alexa will, will be replaced by Bella Chorus. And now Bella will guard the inbound pass. Over now for Cummings. Here's Stanton. Guarded by Wachowski. Gets it over for 
Kittredge and ultimately Anagiri oh, who yeah. did drag that Could left foot. That. <laughs> <laughs> Another turnover for Medfield. They've had quite a few here. Yeah. Leaving I, I that window open. I think it's the defense is moving, so she thinks she has a pass, and she starts to lean that way, and then she doesn't have it anymore, <laughs> and she picks up her pivot foot. Both teams have played great defensively. Oh, Here's nice. a chance for Murad inside. Is, uh, <laughs> Maybe a little bit of a Euro step on that one. Yeah, right. <laughs> doesn't get it to go either way. Here comes Backy, kicks it over for Stanton. Now out back as Medfield works it around the perimeter, oh, and Aguirre for three. That. Seven tonight for the TVL MVP. So now CC Becker, the young sophomore, tasked with a lot of responsibility here in those okay. pink cleats. That's going to be medfield foul. Kittredge. And yeah, it'll, let's see what the call is. It is officially the first foul of the quarter, and it will go against Izzy Kittredge. Yeah. So Kathy with that referee eye catching yep. that one. <laughs> so Lauren Reen's back in the game. She will inbound it here with Backy looking on. Nice pass as she found Cordani, but Backy will pick up the foul, and that's four for Tess Backy. Wow, wow. Something to watch is number 12, yeah. a sophomore for Medfield, with four fouls, I believe, now in the game. It's official now up on the scoreboard. Wow. That's gonna be something to watch for Coach Nickerson. So Cordani knocks down the free throw, and not a surprise to see Backy subbed out here as Mary Palladino, number five, will check in. Second shot of two coming for Liliana Cordani with the student section having their fingers in the air. <laughs> Off the mark there. Yeah, it's gonna be white ball. Yep. That's all right, good hustle. Norwood wanted it, and I think Trisha Wachowski was hoping to signal the other yeah, way. But, but it's a good hustle, because your, your uh, position on a foul shot, uh, if your, your player is shooting, isn't one that you usually get a rebound from. And she really hustled trying to get that. There's a tough inbounds pass that Kittredge ultimately makes to Anagiri. So Naya Anagiri over for Cummings. Now Paladino in the corner. Back for Cummings. Those two playing pitch and catch. And the six foot Paladino nice. tried a three, but she's off the mark. So fast break three for the Mustangs. Two. Here's Wachowski, steps uh, back, but blocked. she's blocked. Well, I think it was Anagiri or maybe Cummings who got their hand on it. Both yeah. were around the pass. Nice clean block, unfortunately. On Trisha Wachowski, that's not easy. As she's about as yeah. uh, tall as the Mustangs get. So Medfield slowing it down. Uh, Wachowski uh, all up in the grill there uh, of yeah. Kittredge. Trisha will pick up Norwood's first foul of the quarter with the Mustangs down nine. So the foul officially charged to twist Trisha Wachowski. It's only her first. And that sends Izzy Kittredge to the line who misses the first. Kittredge has been excellent today. She's got 10 points, only a sophomore. Now she has 11. Yeah, she's got a nice touch. So Lauren Reen now will usher in the Norwood offense. 10 point game, 37-27. 3.30 to go here. Looks like Norwood's got Alexa Chorus ready to check in. But in the meantime, Ava Murad working to get around Cummings. Oh, she's got a couple no. players. And Anna Gary with the steal. In transition, ah, lays it up and in. Good speed there. She beat everybody down the court. Eight points tonight for the freshman, Naya Anna Gary for this Medfield team. Here's Wachowski. Two-handed pass, gets it over for Chorus. Chorus back for Murad, thought about the three. Now she'll yeah, take it. No. Off the mark, and it comes right to Anna Gary. And with under three minutes, Medfield is back up to a 12-point lead. Here's Anna Geary trying to get around Robinson. Over to Kittredge. Into the corner. Paladino with the drive. Kicks it out. The three attempt from Kittredge is off the mark. And the rebound to Joy Robinson. Finally, she missed one of them. <laughs> <laughs> she She's has been deadly. so good. That yeah. Izzy Kittredge. Knocking down threes and twos. And stepping into that pass is Anna Geary. But she tips it right into the hands of Grace yeah, Connell jo on the Norwood bench. picked up that dribble a little too early. <laughs> I, was, I thought it was going to get intercepted there. But, yeah. uh, Norwood taking a timeout yeah, and they'll talk it over. 12 point game. Two minutes and 30 seconds left in the third quarter. So Medfield has uh, really yeah. come out on yeah, fire in the did. third quarter. They really did. But much as they did in the first, Kathy. So I now, yep. now you start happens. to get to a time in this they game. They just have so many weapons. And, uh, you know, their shots are going down. Uh, a few of Norwoods have rolled off the rim. They, and they need everyone to go down to, against a team like this. 
Medfield's also got a really good mix of some veteran leadership and some right. young players. Yeah. They've got freshmen and sophomores who've gotten big minutes for them, but then they've got the leadership of Cummings and Stanton who have been right. playing regular minutes. Right. So that's, uh, that's a good sign for a it team is. come tournament time. Yep. Norwood, though, has it as well. You talk about Wachowski and Chorus and Ream, that senior group. But you look up and down this Norwood roster, poor Donnie's a freshman, Blake is a sophomore, Murata Jr., Joy Robinson a freshman. Right. CC Becker, a sophomore, has gotten some big minutes here. Even Izzy Morgan has spelled uh, Wachowski a couple times today. So both teams will break the huddle. Norwood with Reen, Wachowski, Murad, Alexa Chorus, and the aforementioned freshman Joy Robinson. Comes out right to Chorus, who gets it back to Reen. Robinson will try a three. Off the mark there, that would have been a huge oh. hit for Norwood, and I think it's yeah. Reen that'll pick up the foul here. You can't, you can't have those at this point in this game. That's also the third foul charged to Lauren Reen, only the second of the quarter for Norwood, but getting Lauren in foul trouble is not something that Coach McDonald wants. Joy Robinson will check out for the Mustangs as they will replace her Liliana with Cordani. Liliana Cordani, number 14. So 2.18 to go, 39-27. Medfield up 12 right now. Kittredge over for Palladino. Mary's got a big role here for Medfield it's coming up. Zone defense now. So Norwood switching things up yeah. a little bit. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Oh, uh, oh that yeah. One. That oh. rattled them a little. Off the hands of Kittredge as right. uh, maybe a little mix-up from the Norwood yeah. Hall of Fame coach there. So here comes... If anyone Lauren can Reen solve now. this, it's Kristen McDonald. <laughs> Absolutely. I'd pick her as my coach, that's for sure. Did a heck of a job with the boys' program and yeah, now with the girls. Three years in the boys' program brought them all the way to the state final. For sure. I, I feel like really reset that program in yeah, a way. Yeah, I agree. Here's Cordani off the mark. And Ooh. going out of bounds was Anna Geary. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> she got almost tackled and there, but no I think all players get are just ball. falling out. <laughs> Yikes. I don't blame him for being up. <laughs> <laughs> It'll stay with the Mustangs. Like, what the heck? And a fresh shot clock, too, as I think it just grazed the rim there. So Reen will inbound it here. It's a 35-second shot clock now. It used to be 30. Give teams a little more time to get something cooking, I guess. Chorus yes. inside. What a take. Five tonight for Alexa Chorus. Nice. Norwood has closed the gap to 10. A minute and a half to go here in the third quarter. Basketball is a game of runs. And um, <laughs> let's hope this Norwood goes on a run. That's traveling. It could be. Yep. Tell you, you might have had it quicker than the referee on that <laughs> one. That's years of a trained eye, yeah, right? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so yeah, I did that for 25 years. <laughs> if it is indeed a game of runs, then perhaps yeah. this could be something for Norwood. Right. Medfield had quite a run in the first quarter, yeah, and they, they started did. out the third quarter like a house on fire. Yeah, those two runs are really what made the difference. But here. Norwood is excellent as well. And now the and team's playing pitch and catch in front of the Norwood bench. Yeah, so Norwood got trapped in the corner, and uh, Kristen had to call a timeout that she didn't want to call. Yeah, no, you could tell she didn't yeah. want to take that one. Yeah. Brings the team around her. A minute 12 to go here, and it's a 10-point Medfield lead. Be interesting to see what Medfield does coming out of the timeout as well as they've had some foul trouble early on. But we'll see. You got three seniors for Norwood hoping that this isn't their last game right now. But seniors who have been here before, so I, I experience has got to count for something. Yeah, I'm impressed with these underclassmen though. Uh, Ava Morad. I love how she drives the middle. Um, oh, yeah. And she's not big. And, no. And they've got trees down the bottom there, <laughs> six feet tall at least. That was and, something uh, that uh, Coach Burrell dropped in, how Medfield's height could be uh, could be trouble, yeah, but yes. Lads found some room. Yeah. And uh, and every once in a while, Alexa Chorus does the same thing. Mm -hmm. She's a little taller, and her arms are long, but um, yeah. she, she has the same kind of move where they just find a seam. It looks like nothing's there. They use their cross dribble to, to get inside, and then they roll the ball off their fingertips. So Reen now, a long pass to get it out to Cordani to usher things off. Here's Chorus, guarded by number 24, Hennebury. So Paige Hennebury, another freshman for Medfield in the game right now. Nice pass from Cordani inside. Wilkowski was falling away. 
But Hennebree secures the def defensive rebound but there. Trisha might have gotten hurt there, but she's coming back. And Aguirre now. Over eventually for oh. Cummings, who knocks down the three. Yikes. Oh, and no. Anna Gary intercepts it. This could be dangerous. Oh, she traveled. <laughs> yep. But immediately, hey, the Norwich student section not giving up. They get loud yep. for the travel. And even though it's back to a 13 point midfield lead, Norwood getting another big, timely turnover from the Warriors. So CeCe Becker will check in here, replacing Alexa Chorus. Just over 30 seconds left in the third quarter. Murad, who will be a senior next year. But she wants to do more damage here as a junior. Cordani over for Reen. Oh, Reen is block. blocked cleanly. It was number 24, Paige Hennebury, who got the block. Yeah, they, they're good at that. They can just get a piece of it. And here is Paige from the corner, oh, off the mark. Following up is Kittredge, and she'll go to the line. The foul against Wachowski, her second, and Norwich third of the quarter. Yeah, I think... Trish thought that she'd get all ball there. Well, she kind of went with her the whole way, but the yeah. referees made that call quickly. Uh, and Kittredge knocks down the free does. throw here. <laughs> she, she's got a really nice soft <laughs> shot with a nice spin on the ball. So Izzy Morgan and Joy Robinson will check in for the Mustangs, replacing Trisha Wachowski and uh, Liliana Cordani. Bella Chorus will enter as well, replacing Lauren Reen. Kittredge is only a sophomore, 6'1", wow. and what a shot she has. Already up to 12 points Her tonight. Her form and follow through is something else. Make it 13. She is smooth from three. She is smooth from the line. Eight seconds here. Norwood will have to hurry. Here's Becker. She'll try a deep three yeah. and knock it down. We needed that. CC Becker to close the third yeah, quarter a on a momentum. high note. <laughs> Her team loved that too, I love it. <laughs> right in front sneakers. of the student section, <laughs> the sophomore with two midfield defenders closing down All on right. her. Brought it within 12. Her, her wow. teammates greeted her as she went to the bench, I love it. Unbelievable. So it wasn't the third quarter that Coach McDonald wanted, but no. it ends on a note that perhaps Norwood can build yeah, on here. You know, no, it's not going away. They will not go away, um, and anything can happen. They brought it back before, so let's hope that uh, they can do it again. 44 to 32 the score yeah. here as we get ready for the fourth quarter. The brain trust to the Mustangs on your camera right now, talking things over. <laughs> We're glad you're joining us here on Video On Demand, right. hopefully watching this after a victory. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> as NCM uh, has been your travel partner to bring you these away games. Yeah, NCM is fantastic. Um, just before the game, somebody here came up to us and said, we love what you do. We wish you had, we had your kind of TV here in, <laughs> in Medfield. So um, they're known all over the TVL, at least, uh, as you know, the, the type of organization they are. Because it's so wonderful that people at home can watch these games and they do such a great job. So CC Becker will start the fourth quarter for Norwood. She's right there in those pink cleats uh -oh. and made that big shot moments ago. But Naya Anagiri will intercept the pass. Almost drove into Becker there. Instead it comes for Kittredge who's off the mark. And taking on three midfield players was Robinson. Ultimately, the call goes midfield's way foul? though. Yeah, it looks like it'll be a foul against Robinson. It's her second of the game, first Norwood one of the quarter. <laughs> but Joy was in there with yeah. about the entire midfield team. It's Here's Paige Hennebury. Oh, nice move. Beautiful move. Nifty move from the 5'9 freshman, who's another one to watch for Coach Nickerson and the future of this Warriors team. Becker now around for Murad. Tried to make a move oh, to get around gee. Paladino. Oh, I thought Paladino stepped out, and so did the student section. Yeah. No call was made, though, as Anagiri comes the other way. I think she saved it just in time. The official was right there. Hennebree now over for Cummings. Sadie Cummings is All a big right. third quarter, but almost lost Give the handle. Some pressure. Good defensive pressure from yeah. Izzy Morgan a moment ago. And I think we had a timeout called by uh, Medfield. Wow, what? 16 seconds on the shot clock. That's, that's unusual. Maybe far away from the ball. Coach Nickerson thought they were perhaps in more trouble Maybe than saw, it appeared. Yeah. Either way. Going on. Or, either, or he wants to get a sub in. Right. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that was 
That was a little weird. Medfield has about their biggest lead of the game. It's 46-32. Yeah. And these next couple minutes are going to be big. Is Seven. Norwood going to make them fight for it? Right. Or is Medfield going to rise to the top here as the number one we seed? We need uh, Medfield to miss, miss a few shots. <laughs> and, uh, but boy, they have quite a few kids that can shoot that ball. They do. Lots of weapons. We'll do a quick roundup on the scoreboard right now. Izzy Kittredge has 13. She is tied for the game's leading scorer as her and Trisha Wachowski have traded punches. Norwood's second leading scorer with seven has been Ava Murad, who's oh, been yeah. quite That's impressive. Yes. She's and had a Medfield, great game. Medfield has gotten eight from Sadie Cummings and from Tess Backey. But Backey with four fouls is in foul trouble here. Yeah. So we I haven't seen her in a little while. Bench. Yeah, number 12 is remaining out for them. So the Warriors will line up Naya Anagiri, Paige Hennebury, so those two freshmen, so, along with kind of set play here. Yeah, along with uh, Kittredge, Palladino, and Cummings. Norwood with Murad, Becker, Reen, Chorus, and Wachowski. The three seniors, a junior and a sophomore. Here's Anagiri, running out of time, driving inside, oh, and she'll get to the line. Did a good job drawing that foul. Bit of dismay on the uh, face of Coach Kristen McDonald as she'll talk it over with uh, Ava Murad. And the gym gets very quiet. Yeah. Well, for a moment as the Norwood student section gets going. That foul was on Ava. Murad. Yeah, so that's Ava's second. Second of the quarter for the Mustangs. And Aguirre knocks it down. So we neglected to mention Naya Anagiri in our tally of the scores. She's now at double digits with 11 here, with 10, excuse me, as the Medfield they're, crowd chounced really MVP. They're a well-rounded team. They are. Yeah. Tough, tough. Uh, good tough defense. pass inside. Good so here's Anagiri again. They seem to be anticipating better than they did in the first half, the Medfield defense, unfortunately, and either deflecting or intercepting passes. Cummings, nice pass oh, inside. Beautiful dish. It. Sadie Cummings has a couple, had a couple beautiful assists today, and she connects with Mary Palladino, who's got four. Oh, Becker almost took a step. The Warrior fans wanted it called. Chorus for Wachowski. Six minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. It's Reen from three no. off the mark, and it'll go out of bounds. So Norwood will have a fresh 35 in the shot clock. Big hill to climb here. They're going to have to get that going. shooting going. They're trying more to, for the threes. Here's Murad, nifty move inside, but she's blocked by Hennebury. And Paige turns the other way to head oppress. back on defense. Oppressing. Medfield's had about five clean blocks today, and they've come to life lately. So it looks like a couple of subs for Norwood. They'll sub out Becker, Murad, and Chorus to get Cordani, Robinson, and Bella Chorus in the game. get that little skinny, buzzy bees. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that was the term you used earlier. Yep. <laughs> and one of those buzzy bees, and Lauren Reen will pick up the foul. <laughs> That's four fouls according to my sheet on Lauren Reen. Oh boy. So I can't see she Coach McDonald resting her too much. No, she may stay in as senior captain. Um, right. Well, you, still can, you can still play with four fouls. Yeah. There's a nice oh, pass. Boy. Oh, Palladino on the receiving end of that one again. She's found herself open near the hoop a couple times, yeah, and she's up to six. That's kind of break you practice. Wachowski off the mark, and Kittredge collects. Yeah. And Medfield now with a 19-point lead, and is starting to feel all Warriors, Kathy. And as I say that, though, yeah. <laughs> perhaps that turnover. You, no one is not going to give up. Yep, they are not dead yet, and the students uh, <laughs> are continuing to give their energy here. So Reen will bring it up here. Guarded by Cummings for Cordani, the freshman. Young lineup out there for Norwood right now as Bella Chorus throws it off of Naya Anagiri. We'll see a substitution for Medfield. They will get Paige Hennebury out of the game, who gets a nice hand from the fans. Paige was instrumental coming off the bench. And Annie Stanton, who had a great start to the game, will replace her. Norwood has gone to the bench, it looks like, as well. Got a score here. Here's Reen, wide taking, open from three. Taking more threes, that's how you <laughs> crawl your way back in. 
First points of the night from Lauren Reen, but it comes Again, with a big the three. Again, the Buzzy Bees are doing their thing. <laughs> That's going to be our team name for next yeah. year, right? And yeah, he called timeout. Yep. So once they get past that to that next level, then you, you have trouble because you only have two people back and you have at least a three on two, sometimes four on two. But if you can steal the ball in the front court and get a layup, that's how you quickly get back in it. So 51-35, Medfield is up 16. This game was as close as four at the half. Yeah. But uh, it's been a game of runs. Quarter. And Medfield really got on fire there. Uh, it's, it's been tough for Norwood to get back those points back. Medfield's run has been extended, and in a small gym like this one, it is easy to go on some runs. You can see why. Yes. So 4.57 to go here. We're glad you're joining us on Video On Demand and maybe watching our mid-game updates. Shout out to Brian Boudreau for uh, getting us hooked up to those. Cameraman. Absolutely, and Brian didn't have to travel to the North Shore this time. As <laughs> last year for the uh, Sweet 16 game, we were all the way up in Pentucket, which I right. <laughs> this, this new it used to be South Section, North Section. Now, yep. it could, you could go anywhere in the state. Now, who was it? It was like I think Nantucket playing yeah, yeah. Monument Mountain or something yeah. like that. <laughs> yeah, that team had to go, and they stayed in a hotel in Falmouth the yep. night before because. The ride down was three hours or something. <laughs> I think it was six with the ferry. Oh, jeez. So I, I guess talk about a team bonding experience, I right? I guess so, yeah. There's a nice pass inside, and Palladino All almost right. collects it again. Yeah, somebody got their hand on it inside oh. there. Mary has had a great quarter. She's up to six points now. No, it's not going to go away. Nope. They've got Robinson, oh, no. Cordani, Wachowski, who they were looking for that pass with. Yeah. But Cordani connects with Coach See, McDonald Betsy's instead. defense is really anticipating now the passes that are around the, the uh, three-point line, and they're going for the, the they're really uh, upsetting Norwood's rhythm there. They've had a lot of almost inter clean interceptions yeah. today, and do you think that comes from playing each other three times it maybe could. during the season? It could. Or just you know the first first quarter they know it was making those passes so they now they think they're still going to go for that kind of a pass and um, they're anticipating it. So a little over four minutes to go here no Medfield with a 16 point lead yeah, they want it these are yeah. some long passes. They're hanging around out there. Murad takes that one no, a little quite. bit of a Sutter step and Palladino comes down with it yeah. she gets tangled up. Yeah and uh yeah, Norwood will get Bella some more Cora's shooting in there. Tied her up. Now, back in the day, they would have had a jump ball. <laughs> got little That's right. Bella and uh, six feet tall. <laughs> it's almost not fair. Bella did well, enough getting right. her hands on the ball. I think that's why they went to the arrow because yep. you've got such an advantage by being tall. And both players hustled to get that tie <laughs> ball. So Joy Robinson, I think, will be heading to the line here for the Mustangs. Actually, excuse me, CeCe Becker. Oh. There we go, the buzzy bees moving around everywhere. Yep. It is Joy Robinson going to the line as the foul will be charged to Mary Palladino. That's Mary's first, team first of the quarter. There's Robinson. Uh, In and out. Gonna make those, Joy. Joy is one of three from the line as Wachowski will check out, get some nice hands from her coaches. But Joy's a freshman, and uh, boy, is she talented. I, I love how she moves her feet on defense. She's uh, so quick, uh, has played point guard here, ran the offense pretty well. Yeah, she's had a lot of different roles on yeah, the court. Coach McDonald oh, clearly boy. trusts her. They're finding each other. Oh, Sadie layups. Cummings yeah. Yeah. is now up to nine tonight, and with the assist that Sadie has been dishing out, I wouldn't be surprised if she's in double-double territory soon. Here is Murad oh, taking nice. it inside, yeah. and Izzy Morgan comes down with a strong rebound, Good but happen. fighting for it is Annie Stanton. Yeah. Wow, Morgan got up for that rebound, but Stanton was right there with her the whole time, and it'll stay with Medfield. Nice round of applause for Mary Palladino, so who checks out. Full court press, but, uh, yep. Medfield seems to be solving it now. 3.36 to go here. Medfield is up Ooh. 18, and Morgan with a big bump against Tess Backey. I saw Morgan knew that that pass was going to go there, but... She, instead of going around the place, she went to try to go through her. <laughs> yeah, you can't quite do no, that. But she, she saw it coming. Yep. Yeah. 
So a foul against Izzy Morgan, and Norwood now has yeah. four fouls in the quarter. Now five. Joy Robinson doesn't like that call. Yeah, that was a foul. And that'll put Medfield in the bonus here. Third foul against Robinson, fifth of the quarter for the Mustangs. So Naya and Aguirre at the free throw line as Norwood will get ready to sub Wachowski back in the game. Medfield does have Tess Backey with four fouls back in there. But it's Anagiri at the line who knocks down the first of two free throws. So Naya is now at 10 tonight. And Norwood will get Alexa Chorus and Trisha Wachowski, two senior captains back in, replacing Bella Morg uh, Izzy Morgan, excuse me, and Bella Chorus. Nice touch. She has a great touch as well. Anagiri now has 11. She's made five of those points from the free throw line. Here's Wachowski off her hands. And it finds the Mustang bench. You can see where Naya is the league MVP. <laughs> she can shoot. Absolutely. You don't win freshman. She intercepts passes. You don't win the league MVP She's as a freshman for nothing. Ah, Norwood had three players around her that time. Magic that time. <laughs> oh, no. So does Medfield <laughs> as Stanton gets in the way. Oh, and yes. Aguirre. Wow. Turnover City here. Robinson. Oh, a little bit too far under. Will reset. Now Becker back to Robinson. A long pass as she connects with Reen and ultimately Chorus. Somebody's got to get a three off. Here's Wachowski. She'll try yeah. it. Yeah. What a nice touch that <laughs> one. 16 tonight for Trisha Wachowski, who is the game's leading scorer, as she has had the lion's share of points for Norwood. And Trisha, Trisha's a good player, boy. She's Closing out an amazing career yeah. here for Trisha at the School on the Hill. Kittredge over for Cummings, and now Backey. Into the corner, and Aguirre working against Reen. Got around her on baseline, but she <laughs> missed the, the layup. And Kittredge oh, will dear. clean up. Say, Trisha Wachowski scores, Izzy Kittredge scores. Those two are trading jabs. <laughs> Izzy's got 15 tonight, and we've got a timeout on the court. <laughs> the student section getting loud here. Coach McDonald. Yeah, a little animated <laughs> over there. Also getting loud to the referees. And Coach Joey O'Connor was joining her in that for a bit. He's got those sleeves rolled up like he's ready to knock someone out. <laughs> and the Norwood team and their wonderful coaching staff will talk things over here. So many Norwood fans out here. I saw a lot of teachers in attendance. Yeah. We've got the entire Norwood administrative team, Dr. Galligan, Mrs. Durain, Mr. Curran, and Mr. Gonzalez all here yeah, for a road game. Party showed up. Uh, Absolutely. You know, it's nice because Medfield is so close to Norwood. So. <laughs> So the AD, Mr. Longley here. Friday night gives these kids something to do. Absolutely. Yeah, this is not a far drive. Not a far drive for most people except you today, I guess, yeah, right? Yeah, from Middlebar. <laughs> I tell you, Joe, back, I played in the 60s, right? And we would play in an empty gym. Like, even my mother never came to see me. <laughs> it just wasn't encouraged. So this is how far it's come. Yeah. You know, and it's fantastic. The this whole is the Caitlin Clark thing was amazing. Oh. You know, the, those tickets. What to a get player she that is, game huh? When she was going to break the record, it was like, oh, yeah, this Trisha. Trisha's up to 19, yeah. so. I love this for her. You know, let show why she's been an, a big superstar for Norwood here. Let she's, her play, let her shoot. Yep. She's, Trisha was knocking down three pointers as a quitting. sophomore. Played with uh, Megan Olbrice and Aaron Reen back right. on that team a couple years she ago. Was impressive then. Absolutely. Aaron Reen, who I think just won a college championship in a, in a tournament with uh, yeah. a little travel. Western we New England, maybe? Yeah, travel there. So Norwood is not going down without a fight, that's for sure. They have closed it to 16. So it is Becker. Got to push it. So her and Reen. Shoot threes. The guards on the court right now. Alexa Chorus is out there with Bella Chorus. Nice to see the two of them playing together right now. And Wachowski. Here's Bella for three. Oh, no. Off the mark, and the rebound comes to Annie Stanton. Stanton and Sadie Cummings have been the consummate pros for Medfield, leading this team as captains. Oh, here goes Kit. <laughs> oh, she missed. Well, Push I guess you, now. you did the announcer, Jinx, in a good way yeah, there. Yeah, I know it. There's a nice pass from Coach Wachowski. Coach McDonald said only threes. Yep. She travel. Yeah, they'll say that Becker took a step there. Tell you, the way she kind of took it and was fading away, I was hoping for a four-point play for a moment. Yeah. And we get a nice hand here as Norwood takes oh, a timeout. Okay. 
All the Norwood fans on their feet for their wonderful I think, uh, seniors. Coach McDonald wanted uh, them to get their round of applause. And she has no timeouts left, see, so she's, uh, she's making sure they get their round of applause. And Medfield doing it as well, not only yeah. for their seniors, but also some fans right. looking Norwood's way. A classy move for Medfield right there. The thing I found coaching when we were in the tournament, especially getting this deep in the tournament, you go from being so excited and so high to being so low. It's really tough <laughs> emotionally. And for the seniors, it's their last day, time to wear the Norwood uniform, you know? So um, it's great to get this far, but uh, it's really hard for the seniors emotionally, I think. We wish them the best of luck wherever their paths may take them. Right. A couple more months of school and then out into college or the workforce, whatever that may hold. Here's a shot from three from Paige Hennebury. Paladino was there on the rebound, but the whistle came first. So Norwood has a uh, new crew out there. Number 32, Ava O'Neill is out there, as is Liliana Cordani, Izzy Morgan. Maddie Lyons will try a three oh, and yeah. knock it down. Love it. Love it. Yeah, Ava was the goalie in field hockey. That's and they, right. They went all the way to the state final. So Ava is no stranger to pressure. Right. And Grace Connell, number 34, out there as well. The field hockey team uh, yeah. losing to Reading in the finals, yeah, I think. Yeah, overtime. Overtime. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's got to make you proud to see Norwood oh, Field Hockey. Absolutely, hockey's. I loved it. I loved it. <laughs> uh, yeah, and so the well. final seconds will tick off yeah. here in Medfield. It is yeah. officially a Medfield win, 57-44. Yeah. The Mustangs fought hard, but they Medfield is hard. moving to the they final four. They never gave up. Uh, their effort was 100% uh, all the time, and uh, they have no nothing to hang their heads over. What a team Medfield has. They've got height, they've got speed. Um, you know, it's, a t it's really a tough team to beat. And uh, no one, you know, was uh, giving them a run for their money there for a while, so uh, they should be proud. Um, and uh, we wish the seniors the best of luck in the future. And I thank Norwood Community Media for being here tonight. It's, uh, it's so wonderful for people at home to get to see this game now um, on demand, right? And for the kids, too. Jack Tolman always talks about how, you know, kids will be in college and they, they can watch oh, these, these high school yeah, games that right. are so meaningful to them. It is, yeah. You know, it's not great. only, uh, you know, them point. watching the current games, but being able to access that video on demand. Right, yep. So uh, it's, uh, it's been great working with you, Joe. Absolutely. And uh, we're going to end it here, but uh, on a loss. But we certainly are proud of our Norwood Mustangs. So for uh, North Community Media, I'm Kathy Shakoy. I'm Joe Panola. And we're going to say good night. Have a good night, folks. We hope to see you soon.